I'm Britt Fallon. I am the beauty director at New Beauty, and I am so excited because we're going to talk about peels and skincare and skincare trends today, and Dr. Gross is awesome. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm great. How are you? You look great. I'm good. You know, well, all you. well considered. I'm okay. Good. I, I wore my uh, Dennis Gross MD orange for you. Um, I love it. Yeah, it's, it's the color of hope, which is why I really, that's how come I use it. You know, oh. I think it's such a nice color. So I wanted to just introduce you to everybody. Um, so this is Dr. Dennis Gross. He is the founder of um, Dr. Dennis Gross Skincare, which we love and have been using for years. And he's also a practicing dermatologist. So I would love it if you could tell everybody um, where you're located sure. and, and tell us how you got started with the brand. Okay, so I am a career dermatologist. I, um, I went to medical school and then I went to, I did a residency in dermatology. So I'm not just a doctor, I'm actually a career dermatologist specializing in skin. My career actually began in skin cancer research. So I was really involved in the science of skin. Um, I was a skin cancer researcher at Memorial Sloan Kettering in New York. And then I went into dermatology. So I, be, I became, I've seen over 100,000 patients in my career. And I've, now I've become, underst I understand how to analyze the skin, know what it's looking like when it needs something. And so I have, I have a practice um, every single day um, in Manhattan on Fifth Avenue. It's pretty much a um, international practice, a global one. I see lots of people from all different walks of life and different climates and different skin types. And the truth of the matter is it really has informed me um, as to how to create products for people of all types. Yeah. And, and I have certain mantras now, you know, it's, it's really helped me a lot to become a, a, a formulator of skincare. You know, I think you're celebrating 20 years of the brand. Yeah. Which is so exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, so, you know, back then, I think skincare looks a lot different now than it did back then. So what, um, what, what inspired you? Like, what were you seeing at your practice that you thought the market needed at that time? The, the bottom line is, is that the peel, the peel sector was completely misguided. I mean, they felt like you had to really have a downtime and damage the skin and look like Samantha and Sex in the City. Remember that? <laughs> yes, um, I do. People really were, that's what I was being told by detailed people walking into my office to come in and try to sell me stuff to do on patients. And I disagreed entirely. I knew that the idea was to keep the skin in balance. And, that was, and then you can get great results with the peel, which is why I developed my peel um, in my office and then the, the alpha beta peel that disputed it. And I created a new formula. I created a new approach to doing peels at home. And the biggest difference was that it was two steps. And to this day, it's a defining difference, you know, patented. And this is my, my, my trademark. And this is something that is the key thing. So... I also believe that you don't need to use harsh acids. Mm -hmm. So that was the difference, you know, instead of using, like there were, the, the idea was to this day, you see peels on the market, which are one step, which is nothing more than a super strong exfoliator, really. Mm -hmm. um, you need that second step to shut it down, to neutralize it. And then you get, and that second step also feeds it, feeds the skin. So and we can talk more about the mechanism, but that was yeah. a big difference. You know, no organ in the body do you hurt it to make it right. better. It makes no sense. The topic of peels is so, like you said, there's a lot of misinformation out there. Um, and I would love to know just kind of for everybody watching who is kind of scared of peels because of just the name, what essentially is a peel? And, okay. and I think that's the basic I'd like to start with. So I got to tell you, uh, this is a micro peel. In other words, there is no radical change in what you're gonna see. There, there is removal of that top layer of dead, dull skin, okay? Mm -hmm. So there's what's called targeted exfoliation in my product, right? And that is something that is a fantastic thing to do for the skin as long as it's calibrated and, it's, and you're really guiding the person at home doing it. How do you do that? You, you give them, first thing, a blend of alpha and beta hydroxy acids. And that was the key thing to the first step, right? So I'm just mm -hmm. gonna show you what this looks yeah. like, okay? This is, this is the product. This is the alpha beta extra strength. It's got the red label here. It comes in, it comes in a gentle version, which is also fine. And it comes in the orange universal strength. But the first step, right? It's two pads 
And then this says step one and step two. The first step is delivering a blend of alpha and beta hydroxy acids, multiple. Each of them at a concentration that is not too high, but which add up. And when you, instead of, instead of one acid at high concentration. So that family of acids blended together, each at lower concentrations makes for a more gentle exfoliation, right? Right. If irritation happens when you use one acid at a high concentration. That was the research that guided me. I created it because I discovered that. And very different from what the industry was saying. So the second thing you need to understand is now you're gonna apply that peel pad and you're gonna remove that top layer of dead, dull skin. That immediately does what? It brings out radiance because right. underneath that top layer is your youngest, freshest skin cells. It's crazy how nature works. But by removing it and only peeling enough so that you see it on the pad, not on your face, that's it. That's the micro peel. It's done by a blend of acids. Now, I do not believe in putting acids on the face and leaving it there. Okay, mm -hmm. not good. But the difference is what appeal now is, is after those acids are, are applied, you wait two minutes and let them do their thing. Then you apply the second step. Mm -hmm. That is going to shut off the acids, literally turns them off. So what I've done is I've given people at home the exact exposure to a blend of acids that I want, because that second step says, okay, acids did their job. Here's your neutralizer and shuts them off. In addition, that second step is loaded with 15, 20 to 22 different anti-aging ingredients because then the time is right to take those fresh, young, healthy skin cells now on the surface. And like all babies, you feed them. And, they, <laughs> and it makes all your products work better. Yeah. So that's the difference between if it was, there was no second step, that would be a super strong acidic exfoliator. Mm -hmm. Peels are targeted exfoliation, microscopic peeling, calibrated. So, you know, I think people, they hear peel and they think their skin is going to shed. So would you tell them that that's really just with the, the in-office strength chemical peels that will happen? It won't happen with at-home peels or does it happen with any? It can happen with, with lots of peels. Listen, the industry now uses the word peels very loosely. Mm -hmm. If it's a one-step peel, quote unquote, it, I have lots of patients and I see lots of, I answer lots of Instagram questions where people are saying, I used a product that was loaded with a single acid and now I have this downtime. So that's called a peel too. If it's not two steps, if you look at the history, if you're a student of this stuff, which is, a, I, I'm a career dermatologist, a skin right. care specialist. The history will show you that for, for decades, dermatologists in their office have done peels because they do so many great things, but they're always two steps in the doctor's office. And for that reason, only a peel that's two step is a legit peel. And you can do these one step peels, these high mono acid single step peels. Those are really harsh exfoliators and you can have a downtime with those too. So you started with the universal alpha beta peel. And then you added the extra strength and one for sensitive skin, right? Correct. Okay. So there are three versions. Um, I just want everyone to know that. Right. Um, three versions. And, here they yeah. are. You so know, the, the blue guy, colors. this one here, and then the orange. Okay. Those three. So um, I think that's another myth is that people with sensitive skin think they can't use peels. Right. So what are the differences in the acids in the three different strengths that you've created? So it's based on, they're formulated to different skin types, okay? And this is how it works. So if you have sensitive skin, dry skin, you can use the one for ultra gentle alpha beta uh, peel pads, because that is going to do something very important. It's gonna give you the benefits of peels, but it's gonna not overstrip your skin and it's not gonna cause you to have the redness and the downtime. So lots of times people with sensitive skin missed out on the benefits that peels can provide. So that's a peel that's designed for ultra gentle skin types. Then you have the other end of the spectrum, the most popular extra strength. Despite it's being extra strength, 
it still works on people. For those people, any acneic issues, if, they, if you have oily skin, if you're a veteran of skincare, it's a great product. And it's also, you hate to interrupt you, but that's also the one that just won our new beauty award. Thank um, you. Because we have people who have been using your uh, universal peel for years and then have graduated to the extra strength. And we love that one. So. And thank you for that. Yeah. Truly. New beauty. Thank you. I just want you to know the reason that people have graduated. Think of what, what that means. It means that it's really gentle and safe for people to even go forward and do stronger. Mm -hmm. As long as it's a formulated two-step peel and it's a micro peel and that second step shuts it down and makes it targeted, it's very much like what you would do in my office where I do professional peel still, right? Mm -hmm. But that, that method of treatment, that's what this makes. This is just not a product, it's a treatment, right? To me, a product is something you just put on your skin, done, right? A treatment is really what you're looking for when it comes to doing a safe peel. Mm -hmm. You gotta put on something like an exfoliating step, let it work on the skin, Make sure it's blended acids, not high concentration. Give it the time to work. It causes detachment. It's not a toxic killing of skin cells. It's almost right. loosening the glue, removing that top layer that built up from the day or two before, re revealing fresh skin, and then stopping it with a neutralizer and then feeding it all these amazing anti-aging and soothing ingredients. So Universal does it, and then the, this, uh, this, the stronger one has more acids, has a different pH, right? Because remember, acid is measured by pH. Right. So the pH is different. And that fluctuation between an acid pH and a neutralizing pH, that flux, is the magic. It's what gives the skin immediate results. The, your fine lines and wrinkles look better. The, the shape of your collagen's improved. You know, it starts to work on uneven skin tones and pores and complexion, all that stuff. So if somebody uses the universal and they um, experience, you know, a little bit of redness or it's just not for them, they should, they should switch to the sensitive peel, the blue Absolutely. one, and not give up. <laughs> oh, please. It is, it, is, it is such a popular product. I mean, we're, we're into our 20th anniversary of this product, right? This has, and, and now that we have statistics where someone's doing a peel every few seconds or whatever, you know, we... My company has these numbers and stuff. It's really incredible how, and it's still getting awards. I mean, New Beauty Award, you know, with, the, with our most powerful peel um, is really a, a, as a testament to, to the fact that this is really, a, it's like a game-changing product. It's been called, you know, one of the greatest skincare products in the history of the industry. I just did a story um, in our new issue that's on stands right now. Um, so I just did an, an interview and a story for the issue with Lily Aldridge, supermodel, former Victoria's Secret model. And she said that she uses the peel um, five times a week and she wakes up glowing. And it's really when she wants glowing skin, that's what she uses. And we hear that a lot from celebrities and models. And it really is a testament to the, the product. And I just so want to say that, you know, as a dermatologist, the one thing that all my products are designed to the first thing is that I, I'm a believer in keeping the skin in balance. You can you get the skin to cooperate with your your with your desired anti-aging ingredients, with your desired anti-complexion, com large pores, and and clearing your skin. Only if the skin is in balance. If you ever throw it off, it's going to fight you every step of the way. So the science in my products. I believe in a couple things. First of all, I do not believe there's any one magic ingredient. You know, I believe in the pillars of anti-aging and I have my, my go-tos. Then, in addition, and then you have to deliver them a certain way, right? You have to make sure that they get into the skin cells, they get delivered. When you combine all those, those concepts in the formulas, it becomes a very scientific thing, easy to use, mm -hmm. but models like her you know, where she can use it five times a week and she's in the business of looking beautiful and, and she has to maintain that. Those are the secret scientific concepts behind this clinical dermatology brand. Mm -hmm. So you can use them up to that, like you would suggest five times a week if you wanted to, right? Absolutely. That's okay. the results you will see right away. And then the results get better and better. You know, I, I can tell you people look younger years later than they did when, when they just started the product. So I think another m common myth is that 
peels um, are only good for, you know, exfoliation and like kind of discoloration, just re kind of evening the skin tone. But I think they also help with lines and wrinkles and other signs of aging. Can you speak to that a little bit? So here's the concept. So if you look at the dermatology textbooks, okay, there is this concept of something, of something called cell turnover, mm -hmm. right? And I've read about this in your magazine, right? Mm -hmm. So I know that your readers are versed in it. The concept, that's what this product does in part. It, it starts to keep your skin, it's a constant state of rejuvenation mm -hmm. is what peels do on a regular basis, which is why you wanna do it. We, you can do it as much as every day. That's what most people are doing now. When you increase cell turnover, what you're doing is you're keeping that, that layer of skin cells on the top in a, in a cycle where it's constantly rejuvenating and giving your skin that beautiful look. At the same time, you're doing things like improving fine lines and wrinkles because that appearance is based on collagen, right? The structural mm -hmm. protein in skin, which is the cornerstone of firmness. It's what goes when we lose collagen is when we get fine lines and wrinkles. That's why sun damage causes wrinkles because it injures your, your collagen. Why? It, it generates free radicals. So cell turnover is, is, the, is the fundamental thing about a two-step peel that allows you to get fine lines and wrinkles to look better. And, mm -hmm. and then everything else too. The ingredients can help uneven skin tones amazingly. It can help large pores because it decongests pores and it makes acne complexion issues get better because the first step in all forms of acne is a blocked pore. It mm -hmm. decongests pores. You want to use them at night, right? Because acids can make your skin more photosensitive. You know what? I can tell you that if you just wear your routine sunscreen, you can use it in the morning too. And a lot of people, um, I think it's 50-50. Some people just have more time at night or they, want it, they don't want to be concerned with any issues of sun. But if you wear your sunscreen normally like you're supposed to, no issue, okay? okay? And the morning application, it just has a beautiful look all day. Now that model uses it at night, but you can layer other products over it, including makeup. Okay, I imagine that it, if you use it, I use mine at night, but if you use it in the morning, I bet your makeup goes on a lot more smoothly and just looks really glowy and beautiful. All your products work better because remember, that micro peeling, that mm -hmm. micro, micro exfoliation, not redness, not flaking, but what's on the pad is it, that blocks the penetration of your other ingredients. That is, that is creating a barrier to your makeup really sitting evenly and nicely on your skin. So a hundred percent, I agree with you. And you also have in your collect, in the product line, you have a liquid, a two-step liquid peel. Yeah. So can we talk a little bit about that and who would be a better candidate to use that versus the pads? So Brittany, I'll tell you, this is um, something where, believe it or not, people using the alpha beta peel move from universal to extra strength or they moved up the ladder and they keep wanting more. So I created something that's more clinical. It's part of the clinical um, mm -hmm. franchise in the product. And it's what you're talking about. It looks, it comes in this box. Okay. And it's the resurfacing liquid peel. And if you inside the box, there's again, two steps, right? And each, each of these bottles are just like in my office, step one and step two. And it comes with sterilized cotton balls, all cotton. And you just have to follow the instructions. You basically invert the bottle as instructed. We teach you, it's very simple. You turn it upside down, um, let the fluid get into the, into the, into the cotton ball. This is a product that's stronger. And what happens is, is that you only need to use this twice a week and spread it every couple of days. And on those days, don't use your alpha beta peel. It's also two steps, but it's stronger in its acids. The pH I mentioned, that key thing, the pH is adjusted to make it a little bit stronger too. And what it does is it gives even a deeper peel. Again though, because it's two steps and because I calibrated it and I want to keep everyone's skin in balance, it doesn't cause redness, it doesn't cause dryness, it doesn't give you that tight downtime, but it's a boost. Mm -hmm. And lots of times the skin likes to have a little extra boosting in whatever it is you do. And as a dermatologist, there's science I can tell you about as to why that's true. It's very similar to working out. Like mm -hmm. you do a routine and, every, and then maybe once a week, twice a week, you try to step it up a little bit. 
That constant state of rejuvenation, which the alpha beta peel gives you on a daily basis, you can promote it and, and you can really turn it up a little bit twice a week mm -hmm. and see even more results. So somebody's asking about acne scarring. Would this liquid peel be better for someone like that? Acne scars will look better with peels. There's no question. People use it for that reason. And yes, absolutely. If you want to use both of these products, you will probably see the optimal results. What ingredients play well with peels and what right. doesn't? Okay. So you just asked me two questions and I want to talk about the, the Retin-A first. And then okay. we'll talk about what you can layer. Okay. okay. And I read about this. I know people love this topic because you write about it yeah. and write about it well, by the way. Thank you. Um, so first of all, you got to be very careful with things like Retin-A, benzoyl peroxides, mm -hmm. hydroquinone. Remember, I will always keep your skin in balance. I will not cause redness and dryness with my products. But lots of times those products, those prescription products do. One of the biggest issues with, with Retin-A or Tretinoin is that it does make the skin red and dry. And if you start my products with that baseline, I'm concerned. So I prefer that people really just try to get their skin in balance, maybe use a little bit less of those products or proceed with caution. Mm -hmm. And if they're not getting results, I'll be as brash as to say this. If you're not seeing results with any product you're using, right, it's time to switch. And I can tell you that we have people who are using, like for example, with acne or complexion problems or large pores who use the alpha beta extra strength peel or Add to that the resurfacing liquid peel you mentioned, the guys yeah. in the box, getting great results. So be careful, have your skin in balance before you start, okay? Even it out. Mm -hmm. I would like to talk a little about layering, Like you asked me what other ingredients. Right. Like what, so what kind of ingredients are you thinking about would, would you say your readers are interested to hear about? Well, I think um, a lot of people think that after using acids, you should uh, replenish the barrier with something like HA, um, hyaluronic acid, um, emollient rich products. A lot of people, I think after in office peels, you know, will be sent home with a balm. Um, so I think those types of those things that will help replenish what you've kind of stripped a little bit. Perfect. Exactly. Exactly. What you said is true. Okay. So, and that word stripped is, is a huge red flag. And I, and I can tell you, Keeping your skin in balance means not overstripping your skin, mm -hmm. right? My cleansers don't, the peels don't, nothing does. I like to tell people, the way I formulate products in Dr. Dennis Gross Skincare, I take a problem approach. If a person has, they do the peel because of all the amazing benefits it has globally, like we just talked about. Then if you have, and you should definitely use a moisturizer, HA is great, mm -hmm. okay? But then if you want to target some specific problems, everybody has the desire to look globally younger and have more clear skin. That's mm -hmm. what the peels will do for you. But if you go on to say, well, some people have particular concerns with things like hyperpigmentation, like melasma, or they have acne scars, or they have marks left over from previous acne, right? Where their mm -hmm. acne once was and is long gone, but they leave this colorations behind then I have created in my, in my line different layering products like serums. So I will use things that have like high dose vitamin C for acne scars. Or if you want to treat hyperpigmentation, I have that. If you're under a lot of stress, right, and there's redness in your skin, you can use the peels and not throw your skin off balance. But then I have products for stress, you know, serums that really soothe the skin for people with redness issues, mm -hmm. okay? So you layer it, and layering is always done where you do your peel first, you wash, then you do your peel, and then you put on the next thickest product, right? So mm -hmm. it always goes thinnest to thickest, and just select products that target your problem with the pillar ingredients that I have in my line, and those are retinol, those are great, which is great for fine lines mm -hmm. and wrinkles. I love hyaluronic acid, like you said. I do love peptides and I do mm -hmm. love niacinamide, you know, and I do use hyaluronic acid, alpha and beta hydroxy acids. Those are the fundamental pillars. And you know what? The peels are universal. I really believe that. But then you got to select the ingredients because no one ingredient is right for everybody. You got to know how to mix and match 
And that's how I created skincare line. So you can use retinol and vitamin C after using the peel. Is sure. there a is there a buffer period that you should wait before you apply the next active? Just wait until the peel dries. Okay. That's it. Very quick. Okay. No problem. Everything in my line is designed to be used in together. Mm -hmm. And actually there are a lot of people who love their products. I know that. You yeah. can just add the alpha beta peel to your regimen too. And it will just take you to that next level of beautiful, healthy, radiant looking skin. Mm -hmm. And your products that you now love will work even better. But you always do your peel first before you add any other product. That's the key. I'm also seeing comments about um, using it on your neck and your hands too. Right, that, those pads are so loaded and with, with fluid and in product Mm -hmm. that you can do it onto your face and then bring it onto your neck, bring it onto your decollete, put it on the backs of your hands. There's plenty yeah. of fluid. All of those benefits, the increased cell turnover, the radiancy, the clarity, you will see here. And the and neck really is something that I have seen in my practice. Again, I've seen over 100,000 patients. I really mm -hmm. have made an observation here. People have been focusing on their face so much that you can actually see the difference between their face and their neck. Wow. So, don't neglect your neck, especially nowadays with tech neck. Yeah, it's real. There is a loss of collagen. There are lines. There is laxity. Treat your neck. So I want to talk a little bit about um, in office peels too, because I think we get a lot of questions about that. And uh, you know, you were mentioning the the two steps, and that's similar to what you get in office. Um, so could you tell us a little bit about? Um, like, I think a, a buzzword is the TCA peel, but not a lot of people know what that is. Um, so what are you most frequently doing in your practice? Okay, so I have developed alpha beta professional peels. And you got to be careful because you always want to keep the skin in balance. You got to trust me. It's like exercising to a point where you're sore the next day isn't optimal, right? You want to push to the max but you wanna stop at a certain point, even with in-office peels. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing something now in these days with, with, with this crisis, there's a lot of things that I see people buying on Amazon that are supposed to be like strong peels and they're having lots of trouble with it. Yeah. I mean, the company's having trouble scrutinizing um, and validating a lot of products. So professional peels, you gotta be careful with. So what I do is I create alpha beta professional peels, which are available in, in this dip, different spas and medical, medical spas across the country in my office, geared to skin type also, right? So if you have sensitive skin and you want a professional peel, we can do that. There's science to it. And then you can go all the way up to the extra strength. So keeping the skin in balance is always formulating for skin type. And you have to have the conversation with the, with the client. You got to look at their skin and my staff and my people are all trained in how to do this. You mentioned TCA peels. Mm -hmm. So TCA peels are a next level thing, right? TCA, you gotta be very, very careful. And you gotta select a, a dermatologist who knows what they're doing and who really says that you are a candidate for it. And you don't want someone just pushing procedures. You wanna make sure your skin stays in balance. TCA is a harsh chemical. It is mm -hmm. not an alpha or beta hydroxy acid. Those are products that are derived from nature. TCA is a pure synthetic, okay? And so TCA peels are meant to go quite deep and maybe that's what you want. Mm -hmm. And they do help fine lines and wrinkles. They can help acne scars. They're never done like once every month, like a professional doctor's peel is. Those are done maybe once in a year, once in a lifetime, okay? Wow. So it's, but you have to be very careful with that because you know there is gonna definitely be a downtime and you have to be careful to, and I do TCA peels, you have to be careful when to shut that down, okay? So and you have to know how to read a TCA peel mm -hmm. on a person's skin, okay? And you gotta act fast and you have to anticipate because going too strong with that, it can scar you. It can cause hyperpigmentation. Oh. It can cause unevenness in the skin tone. So you gotta be very careful with TCA peels. So let's, it's suffice to say you have to go to I think with any in-office peel, you have to go to somebody that really knows what they're doing, um, even if it is a lighter peel, because, you know, these are acids on your skin. So this isn't something that you want to buy a Groupon for necessarily. Um, 
you know um i think we we at new beauty obviously we trust our board certified doctors um dermatologists for these types of things and um i think that it's just so important i think a lot of people have been writing in about um just going like you and going to people like you for this and it's very important so i just want to put that disclaimer out there like you said this is a strong peel we get a lot of questions about tca so thank you for that right. um but it's not something to mess around with for sure it's, it's the opposite it's yeah. a, it's got you have to be super careful with it it's a very strong product and you have to really know how to how to do it and you also but in the world of professional peels i want you to know that lots of times people will see a big difference when they do a professional peel. And then and the way we do it in, in, in our company is we have professional peels done and those two are really standardized. And then you take home the alpha beta peel and you stay on it, right? Mm -hmm. And you can, you can get your professional peel every month or you can do it on an occasion. But the most important thing I want you to know, and I think that listeners should know, what you do every day is really what matters most, mm -hmm. okay? And that comes with ingredients like serums too, mm -hmm. you know? There, there are serums that are, NP, that are going to have ingredients that will target what the problem a person really needs and wants. The key thing is that those products should be used every day, okay? And I talked about the peel and I mentioned something. I said it keeps your skin in a constant state of rejuvenation. Mm -hmm. Serums keep your skin in a constant state of repair, in a constant state of targeting the particular concern you have. Mm -hmm. And it's just no different than good nutrition. There's no like good days and bad days. It's a regular thing you must do. You know, your skin wants it. So daily treatment, I think, is, is really, really more important than what you might do in the professional. Not to belittle and not to discourage anyone but I think it's understanding the big picture of how to approach skincare, especially nowadays when people are, in, are inside, you know, no one's really looking their best. People are really striving to look in the mirror and feel good, you know? So I'm finding that nowadays more than ever, the peels and products that really make a difference that keep your skin in balance are just a real boost to a person's mood and spirits. But how important is it to have that, that more intense shedding? Because, you know, I, that's what I wonder is if I think some people, there are people who want to see their skin actually peel off. Right. Um, so you said maybe do that once a year. Um, is that important? You know, it's important. It's important depending on your goals. Okay. And there are people in my, pro and I can do stronger peels and we can calibrate it. Okay. okay. And I will tell you that, I'm a big believer in peels. So not only did I develop the alpha beta peel, right? Then I went on to develop this liquid resurfacing peel. There's a, we, can, we do retinol peels, right? So retinol is an incredible ingredient in a serum or in a product because it's, I have my pet name for, for my slogan is it's, it is the master of surface imperfections, okay? It is brilliant in smoothing out fine lines and wrinkles, mm -hmm. right? So what I, but I, and I've also created, and you can buy at home, um, are retinol peels. It's a sink. It comes like this. Okay. So if you have people who really, really want to get the most out of their peeling, you can do a regimen at home right now where you would do the alpha beta peel. Okay. Then you can add that resurfacing liquid peel, these guys. Okay. The bottles. And then you could also integrate a retinol peel. It's an oversized peel. And the key thing is retinol in a concentration here is really higher and stronger than in a retinol serum, right? And retinol is great and you want to use it as a peel. We have that. So if you have like people out there who are really like peel junkies and they want that kind of maximum thing, I think even better than going for that once every six to 12 months radical thing, just really create a, a comprehensive peel pro program for yourself. Mm -hmm. And the reason it works, the reason the, the retinol peel, this guy does something very different, okay? We always go back to cell turnover as the key thing to rejuvenating. This is something that peels from the bottom up. The other peels peel from the top down, mm -hmm. okay? They're exfoliating peels. 
retinol increases that cell turnover, that, that tr the time it takes for cells to reproduce is sped up, which is why people get prescription strength retinase, for example. And it's used in the beauty industry by doctor by prescription. Mm -hmm. But you can use a retinol peel twice a week and get a different dimension to your peeling. And that combo is really what we stand behind. It's that it's those three different peel products that people integrate. You probably will not get a lot of downtime anyway, mm -hmm. but you don't need that downtime, right? Mm -hmm. The thing about downtime, you gotta remember something. Whenever your skin starts to get red and starts to have that shedding, once in a while, it's okay. On a regular basis, it generates free radicals. And free right. radicals are not good for the skin. They age the skin, which is mm -hmm. why I'm, I am so tuned in to keeping the skin in balance. What percentage of retinol is in the retinol peel? I'm gonna tell you, I'm happy that question came up, okay? Here is the answer. We don't talk percentages. I and I think it's really misleading to do that because it's not about how high the concentration and you can play right. that game and people think they're getting better results if it's a high concentration. They think they're gonna get more for their money if it's a high concentration. That's not the truth. The truth is you want the concentration that exists to do something called saturating the receptor. Every ingredient that we use on the skin gets into the skin by something called receptors. Receptors are basically like the gateway, the doorway that sits on the outside of the skin cell and they're open or they're shut or they let only a certain amount in. Everything in the body is regulated. That's how it stays in balance. Every product in, this, in my line saturates the receptors maximally and doesn't overdo it. And that's how you keep the skin in balance at the same time, get the maximum results. And I'll tell you simply why. Because if you put in too much and you go beyond what, this, what those doorways, gateways, receptors can allow in, the excess stays outside the skin and irritates, I promise you. So we've spent big time bucks in research, okay? It's our proprietary information. The reason people love our products and the Alphabet Appeal is the award-winning product because the concept of delivery systems that maximize your concentration is what we own proprietary research on and that's why you see immediate results mm -hmm. that get better and better without the downtime. Definitely. Um, someone else is asking, do peels thin out your skin in the long term? And I know this is a myth about retinol as well. Yes. Good question. Not if you're doing micro peels. I, we hear this all the time. The answer is keep your skin in balance. Do something that's gentle on your skin that does not cause a downtime and know you will not thin out your skin. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then your product will continue to work for you. Lots of times people think, you know what, I got to keep switching products because, you know, it, uh, my skin gets adjusted to it. But, right. but, that, but that model, whose name I forgot, who uses it. Oh, Lily Aldridge. Yeah, she's using it five times a week and she's, she's using it religiously because good ingredients and good products continue to work for you every day. Mm -hmm. It's like good nutrition, right? It, does, it right. never gets old. Right. Um, I see a few questions have come in about under eyes. So um, what would you say, you know, if you use the peel, how close can you get on, in the under eye area? And if not, um, what else would you recommend? So the peels are designed to be used around the eyes and just apply the pads where you feel bone. That's it. The orbital bone. Mm -hmm. You never go beyond where you're, you can actually, if you can sink your finger in, now you're into the orbit, the eye mm -hmm. socket. No, but all around here, absolutely incredible how well okay. it works there. The skin there is particularly thin and that's why you get lines and wrinkles and the delivery system and the peels are designed to work here. And they're absolutely great for that, for all the problems there, hyperpigmentation, fine lines and wrinkles, firming. But this is where, you know, again, we now create products and I, I develop eye serums and you can't just have one magic bullet ingredient and say, this is what you need, right? right? The science of skincare legitimately requires different ingredients that target different problems. So we layer, depending on your problem, like we have a hyaluronic acid eye, eye serum that plumps and hydrates, great for people your age. Mm -hmm. Then there are people 
who want creepiness of the eyelids developed, uh, attacked. We have an, a retinol and a ferulic. That makes retinol gentle. It's, again, a combination mm -hmm. in a delivery system that you can put on your eyelids to improve the crepiness there. It's a breakthrough. If you, want, if you want to improve and soothe the skin, we have something that uses encapsulated niacinamide and the best superfoods out there that deliver to the skin for, for puffiness, okay? So, and then if you have that sunken look, lots of times people have a sunken look. Mm -hmm. You can use vitamin C ingredients. Again, you got to know how to deliver it because the eye is different. So retinol is great. And all these different ingredients, depending on your, of your particular concern, you layer over the alpha beta peel. Um, somebody is asking, well, are there any side effects if you stop using the peels? You just, you know what, you, there's no side effects, but you know, your skin will start to go through a little withdrawal and you will start to see the aging process come back in or your complexion concerns start to restart. Um, you know, it's, it's, you can't, you can't um, use something once and say your problem is gone. These, these, are, these right. are issues that people have. They run in families. It happens as we get older. It's true of per certain skin types. You gotta stay on it. It's like taking mm -hmm. a medicine. You know, if right. you stop taking it, it stops working. Right. So um, it's very similar to your skincare products too. Yeah. Um, and then somebody is asking, I have a question about rosacea, if you can use them with rosacea and also melasma. Great. Yes, you can. And rosacea is one of the really important conditions that I see in my practice in New York City all the time. Rosacea is to me, it's, it's the, one of the most ultimate examples of sensitive skin. Okay, mm -hmm. because rosacea is an acne like rash that includes inflammation. The ultra gentle peel is fantastic. The one with the blue, baby blue color tab mm -hmm. on it, great for, rosa for rosacea to start. And if after that, if you get better and you want even more results, promote yourself. And melasma, hyperpigmentation, definitely responds to the peel. It's the first, the, but the magic combo in my, for me is the alpha beta peel of the strength that works for you, combined with what we have something called the IPL serum, named after the laser I use in my practice, the IPL laser. Mm -hmm. This is an, a product that you put on the melasma and it really helps fade this coloration and prevent it and treats it. And maybe that won't come back because once you get rid of it, if you're good in the sun, lots of times melasma won't come back. So the IPL serum is a real game changer. It targets the five different reasons people have hyperpigmentation. Mm -hmm. and that's, that's part of the science and the, how crazy and compulsive we are to make sure we get every ingredient for every like, facet of a particular problem. Melasma, I mentioned melasma, IPL serum and, and the um, alpha beta peel. Someone actually commented that they like using the peels in their armpits to help exfoliate. Have you heard about this? That's a new one. Thank you for that. It's funny <laughs> I've not heard that. We're seeing, um, you know, I think it was Dove that just came out with a, a brightening underarm, a deodorant that has brighteners in it. Um, and I think that that is kind of a trend right now. So um, ah. if it helps you, great. <laughs> yeah. Um, Thank you. Obviously, there's a big pore conversation happening. So the, the peels are great for large pores. Right. Well, the thing about pores, you know, this is a huge, huge condition, right? People don't like their large pores. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I will talk to you about, if you want to talk about pores, I think it would be very uh, interesting and educational. Pores now, especially with stress, will look bigger. There's no question about it. Stress will change our oil chemistry and there are people who have large pores because the large pores and congested pores is the first step in the chain of events that leads to acne, okay? And it doesn't matter if you're talking about T-zone acne or hormonal acne or cystic acne, everything starts with a blocked pore. Now, some people just have large pores and some people have, they go on and they have blackheads and acne. So the key thing is you want to decongest your pores, the alpha beta peel, all peels do that, which is why it is fundamental if you want to improve the look of your pores mm -hmm. and if you want to treat your breakouts, right? But here, I will tell you some science what I have done that I think is, we have something called the Alpha Beta Pore Serum. Are you familiar with that, Brittany? That product, yes. the pore? It, right. So that's a product that's really taken off because that is a product that is 
if that's your concern, then you create a combo of the peel plus the pore serum, because that's something that decongests pores, again, in seven different ways. My, the reason I developed it was, it drove me a little crazy to see pore products really just have one ingredient, like exfoliators mm -hmm. or sal silk acid. Right. I will tell you, as a dermatologist, again, devoting my, my life to this work, blocked pores happen for seven different reasons. And one particular person could have three of those problems or another person could have five or just two. This mm -hmm. is a product, the pore serum, you layer over the alpha peel and it gets rid of those large congested pores seven different ways. So pores are wow. huge and they're important to yeah. treat. So you use the peel, you put on the pore serum after if pores are your number one concern. And then after that, you could also layer another serum. That's okay. right. So people have more than one problem. They learn how to, again, look for the products that target right. their problem, problem and layer accordingly to what's customized for them. And then I've heard of some people who are mixing, they mix all their serums, like three serums in their hand and then apply them. Are there any problems with doing that? You know what? I can tell you, it's not my first choice with my products. Okay. And the reason I don't love that idea, I, and I'm going to tell people, you know what? I prefer you take a little more time and not do that because in my, in, in my products, every product has its own delivery system. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's, a, there's, there's differences in the way in, you have a product. For example, when we talk about, I have, I have a product for scars, okay? It's a, it's, a, it's a vitamin C product with different ingredients, but what it does is it helps to, to uh, stimulate the skin's own natural production of collagen. And scars are indented, for example, because that acne was so radical, so destructive, it actually destroyed your collagen fibers, and even after the acne's gone, your skin's indented. So the mm -hmm. C plus collagen serum has a delivery system that really helps people. It works on fine lines and wrinkles because it works on collagen, but it works on scars too. But to get it to the cell layer in the skin where the cells that make collagen live requires certain principles that are called delivery systems. If you mix your products together, you're mixing delivery systems. And in my, in my products, I'm really compulsive about what I do and how you're going to put it on your skin. So I prefer them to layer it one by one and not mix it. Okay. And should you just, after you apply a serum, should you wait till it's dry to the touch or how, how do you know when it's appropriate to put the next serum on? It basically vanishes and, okay. it, and it feels like it's gone, you know? Mm -hmm. And in, in serums, the thing about serums, just to talk, just, Serums are really um, targeted treatments that are all about the concern you have for using it, okay? So mm -hmm. unless it's a hydrating serum, right? The serums are all about, hey, I have hyperpigmentation, I have melasma, I have, I have marks from acne. That, is, that requires ingredients in the delivery system for that problem because that exists at certain light levels of the skin, okay? So those should soak in pretty quickly and then you go okay. on. So just thinnest to thickest as you layer. And can you layer too many serums? You know what, look, if, you, if you're if you not absorbing it, if you start to feel like it's pilling, now I, I right. again, when I create my products, they're all designed to work together. I know I am treating what I call the bell-shaped curve of the human race and I'm treating people of all ethnicities, all skin types, from super hot climates to super cold climates and everything in between. So my products are designed to make sure that there's no pilling, right? Pilling is a bad thing. Okay. If you find that to be the case, I you know. need to reorganize and restructure your, your, your program. Wonderful. Well, I, I don't want us to get kicked off here. I think we're going to get kicked off in a couple minutes. We've had such an incredible conversation. Um, but I, is there anything else that you wanted to share? You know, I can tell you that nowadays, you know, I'm hearing from a lot of my clients, you know, with, with this quarantining and, and lockdown and these really, really challenging days. So I think that um, people are writing in and asking me and we have lots of people standing by and we're doing lots of virtual consults and we're just talking to people on a regular basis, answering their questions. So they're asking, so what in particular should we be doing now? You know, and the problems I'm hearing basically that people are saying they have 
is that their skin is losing it. They, they see dullness and they want to know like, what it is it that they can do. They have more concerns. They get, can't go to the dermatologist anymore. So they're, they're very relevant questions to the times we're going through. So I think that um, what, I'll just tell you the things we're saying and seeing in response to those questions. Um, the key thing is, is that I believe one of the most important things is you want immediate results. Mm -hmm. And you want, to, and I think that I'm happy to say that long before this crisis, that was one of the most important things um, that I really believed in. And you can get, when the alpha beta peel, you see results right away. That's part of the, the, the amazing breakthrough in a two-step peel that, that you see. And also, I think that people should start to understand that you want to maintain the products you're using because if you stop now, you really can backtrack. But now mm -hmm. is also the time where if you're not seeing the difference, to try stuff that's new. And you can make a huge difference and it can really brighten your day. And I think that um, that's, that's what we're talking about. So stay on your products and keep your skin in balance. Even, even cleansers, you know, mm -hmm. um, you gotta be careful because let me just tell you something about stress. Okay, stress is a real negative on the skin. There, we did the studies and we found, and it's not just studies, you do the homework as a scientist. Stress causes reduction in the circulation, the actual flowing of vital blood to the skin because stress is, is redirecting it to other organs, right? And the stress mm -hmm. we're under now is giving our skin a pale look. It is giving us dehydration it is making all our problems look worse. So I have found that we, 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 before this happened serendipitously, because as a New York dermatologist, I've seen a lot of stress and I created a line just for people. So it's an eye product that depuffs, a serum that revitalizes and helps beautiful skin come back, great for redness and a really rich moisturizer that uses superfoods, adaptogens and niacinamide and encapsulated it. So this is what has been really going crazy with our people um, buying it. We're recommending it. They're using it and seeing a dramatic improvement because it, these are days of stress. So yeah. that's sort of what's going on on our Instagram and, and, and our network of people across the country. That is a fantastic. I love that line. Um, is it, it's called SOS, right? It's called SOS. It's called the stress line. Somebody's writing the stress serum is incredible. Yes, it is. And also, before we get kicked off, I just wanted to say also, thank you so much for being a member of our Brain Trust. We just launched um, a 100-person uh, Brain Trust. Um, this is in our new spring issue. And uh, Dr. Dennis Gross is a part of that. And we wanted to say thank you. And this group of individuals is from all different specialties, uh, doctors, nutritionists, fitness professionals, and they will be helping guide us and share insight with our editors to make our magazine content and our uh, website content even better. So thank you so much for that. I just want to say to New Beauty, okay, and to everyone listening, this, you are a cut above and your educational, editorial, and what you do for people who want to have younger, beautiful, radiant skin is top flight stuff. And I'm, I'm actually honored to be on board with those people and to thank be a contributing you. member of all those stories and the awards you've given us. Thank you. Um, thank you. You know, let's stay together and people will see just great results and, and these days will end. And yeah. what we do now, we'll, we'll just have in our pocket to make us look great during those better days. Right, right. Um, and you know, all your products are available online. So we know that people aren't going into stores right now. But, um, you know, definitely check those out. We do master classes too, which is something we've started to do. We're continuing this dialogue with, you know, that you write about and, and at that level of science and sophistication that really is a, is a compliment to people's intelligence and to their interests and what they really can get. We've done master classes. And we have all this, these things that are going on now in our Instagram. And though they're uploaded to YouTube, so you can just check us out and see we have different stories coming up. And lots of times we're writing about, we're, we're talking about the relevant stories you've done over the years. Mm -hmm. You know, I know how you've done stories about what goes on in your 20s and 30s, different from your yeah. 40s and 50s. That's a great approach and it's still so relevant. So we're talking about that. 
And a lot of the ways you structure stories, I think is the key to, the, to why people who read your stories are, are so enthralled and educate and get so much out of them. That, that approach is timeless. So right now, especially, we're focusing on that exact approach that new beauty has really um, just educated people so well. well. Well, thank you so much. And um, for all the kind words and for being a supporter of our brand and um, we love working with you and um, everybody run out and get the Alpha Beta Peel um, pads. They are celebrating their 20th anniversary, their special packaging. Um, and uh, we thank you so much for tuning in and thank you, Dr. Gross. Thank you so much. Be well. Stay safe and healthy. And you. Bye-bye.